Welcome to the Web 3.0 Site Builder Pricer theme that we've made available. Um, it works in exactly the same way as the Web 3 Site Builder original. It literally, it's just a question of going ahead and filling in the blanks, um, which I've done here. You've got a color selector for everything, so you can uh, select text color, for example, here. And color for the form text which I've kept for the same literally you just run through all of the questions answering them um, and it will generate a site that looks quite stunning for corporate users I'll quickly take you through show you how easy it is to build the site literally you answer the question up here and here it says set the language. Down here there will be an explanation sometimes if it's not completely clear. Go on. Is it a left or not right language like English? Now some of the um, buttons you, you wouldn't really uh, need to change. We've got default answers for you. If you're doing a foreign language site then you probably will need to change but otherwise uh, some of them you just flick straight through. Till you come to title of the website, um, brief description, These are, this is all important for the um, search engines and for your meta descriptions and so forth. Keywords, or whether you want to have a logo, and if you do have a logo, you put in the URL of the logo here, so you'll upload the logo to your web server and then put the link to it here. We recommend 600 pixels wide by 150 high. Um, then again, each section you just fill in your answers. So if you're not sure what these uh, what these questions refer to or what section, all you need to do is refer either to the site or to uh, the explanatory image, which uh, let me just go and find for you now. Okay, so for example, on this uh, image, and this will be in the members area, it shows you exactly what section you're filling in, and you can see because essentially it's a um, the site is put together using uh, a number of uh, sections that just sort of uh, link together onto a page. And so if we go back to the actual software itself, we've got the heading for the opening screen and that will be at the top here, the opening screen, which we have welcome. Uh, and then there's a, hub, a subheading and then you can see banner heading and so forth. So coming back to the software, you just fill them in. It's very easy to edit. You can always come back and edit at any time, even after you've created it. Uh, subheading for the main thing, heading for the banner page. That uh, the banner page is the second section here, and text for the banner area. Uh, then you decide how many buttons you'd like in the button uh, in the banner section. You can have up to five. Uh, and then you will put in the text for the buttons and also the actions for the buttons. Uh, again, look in the uh, manual, you'll see it's very straightforward. For actions, there can be, uh, for instance, this one is a, we'll call a telephone number, uh, but there could be an action to just go to a, a specific URL or uh, open Skype or go to a map. Um, basically any HTML action uh, you can think of and we've got some in the um, in the manual for you then you've got uh, going through the text for the buttons here we've got three buttons and now the images now what I would we recommend for the images um, leave them as they as they are in terms of the names because then you can overwrite all of the images very quickly very easy at the end when you've created the site you can stick in 
um, you just overwrite the images. That's so copying your images and pasting them into the folder over the um, existing images. Uh, this is explained in the members area. Uh, it's a, like a two second job and we've got some uh, templates or um, pre-made images to the right sizes for you to use as well. Okay, so you can make the images clickable as well so that you know you could put in it click here to um, I don't know, a buy now button or, or or take them through to any sort of page a video or what have you uh, but here I'm not making them clickable um, you've got uh, two feature areas that you can put in text and embed videos that's what we've done here again it's all explained in the user manual second feature section has a heading it has a content and there's an image there again you can change the image we've also got an optional uh, picture gallery that contains eight images they have a, um, a light box and all images so here I've just called it gallery but you could call it portfolio or um, screenshots or whatever you want to uh, display then you've got a subheading for the gallery uh, and then the eight images and again I'd leave these uh, in, in terms of their names but you can give them all titles and those titles will appear when someone opens the image gallery um, so we'll quickly run through these then you've got a main content uh, section you have a header and a subheader and then you've got um, and then you can put in a Google map this is again uh, optional if you do put in a Google map you'll need to get uh, longitude and latitude settings which you can do from uh, um, several websites um, just google them or have a look in the manual and uh, we've got links there for you and then the street address city and country um, and now you've got the option to have a table so if you do want to have a table you can have up to five rows and four columns so here we've uh, we're adding a table four columns five rows you give the table a heading and then you just run through the column headings just whatever column headings you've got for your table and then you put in the content for each row and column so this is row one column run one row two column one and so on and so forth so let's fill those in and then it will ask uh, if you want a contact form now some people don't want to have contact forms they prefer to have opt-in forms uh, which if you had an opt-in form that would be when you're using an autoresponder such as Aweber or get response then you can simply embed that in the content main content section uh, but most people um, would require a contact, uh, contact form so all you would do is select yes and then simply uh, put a heading for the contact form you've just got contact us but you could put whatever you want again that's useful especially if you're using a foreign language put in the email address that the contact form is going to send uh, the email to then you can change the f uh, names on the fields and also the messages that pop up if the fields haven't been completed properly so again very important for uh, foreign languages and then finally we go through social media you can um, uh, choose from a, a variety of which social media buttons you'd like to have included with your uh, website and again you just simply put in the um, URL uh, to the various social medias that you're uh, website connects to and finally you can put in a copyright notice again it's put in for you um, you can put in a link that will go in the footer section and you can also add Google Analytics code and that's it when you're done um, you can save the project so you can come back and view it at any time uh, create a folder and then your site will be built for you.
Once it's created the website for you, you get a notice like this. It will open up the folder where you saved it. And that is your entire website. You can just upload that to your web server and you're done. Uh, now, if you want to put um, change the images, as I mentioned earlier, I'll very quickly show you how you open the images folder there. And you'll see it's put in some um, dummy images and also in the thumbs and the folder called fools so in order to overwrite those you'll just take your images okay so all you would do is uh, select all control C for copy and then come back to the site that you've just created uh, click in there you can right click and paste uh, it's going to ask you to, if you want to overwrite, and we're going to say yes. We'll do that for all images. And then the image files, when you refresh this, they've all been they've all been overwritten. Over this, all, all the coffee images are there, and your site has been built. So. That's really how easy it is to use the Web3 site builder price for theme. I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any problems at all, just contact our support desk and we'll be more than happy to help.